Hi, you're watching My Birth Way. I'm Emma, and this is the 23 Weeks Pregnant Update. Um, I'm feeling really great uh, overall. I think I've reflected in other videos that I feel really grateful that my pregnancy so far has been pretty easy and no big deals. I mean, you know, I tell you about some of the symptoms I'm having, but they're never... There's, they're never really a huge problem, and most of them are just kind of comical. When I look back on them, they weren't like, whoa. Um, so this week, um, I have noticed that I sometimes feel like a back cramp on my right side. And this is also the side where I've talked about before having, like, kind of the more more pelvic pain and, like, the leg pain. So I wonder if it has to do with, like, that, my, that and my posture and just that side of me is slightly acting funky. Um, but it's interesting, it, it's a back cramp, and it comes and then it goes, and I feel like sometimes my stomach will cramp in the front, but it won't hurt at the same time, um, but my back cramp will hurt, and it's interesting, and it only happens sometimes, and I'm thinking that there's a chance it's like a Braxton Hicks contraction wrapping around my back. I've looked it up, and I it doesn't look like it's that common to happen like that, but I'm going to talk to my midwife in a couple days, because we go for an appointment in like a couple days so I can ask her um you know there are a couple midwives ask them what they think um I'm sure it's not a big deal but it's just interesting and I've noticed it um and I am curious to see if I'm right about that being like a a weird side effect of Braxton Hicks at least for me um also I started doing some prenatal yoga uh I found a video that's like for the second trimester you know and it's on YouTube, and I can put it on the big TV and, and do it. And it's been really nice, and nice stretching. And a lot of the stretches happen to be, I can feel that they're kind of hip openers, which would make sense for any pregnant person to do these stretches. Um, and so I think it's really been helping and great. And I've been doing that sometimes after I walk, doing that at the same time, uh, and which is really nice, and it, it fits together really well. Um, so those are some things. Those are some, some physical symptoms I've experienced. Um, also... I've noticed that, I mean, I'm definitely getting bigger, but I've noticed that partially because I guess it's just now the weather is getting nice. Um, it's late March and the weather's getting nice. Um, my, but my stomach, you know, is still pale because it's not like I've been out in the sun and my stomach is usually more pale than the rest of me. But I can really see the blue veins. Um, before I've talked about seeing bumpy veins, like hand veins and stuff, but in this case it's just... I mean, there's no texture to it. It's just I can my skin looks transparent, and you can see a lot more vein or artery or you know I don't know exactly what it is underneath my skin. It looks really cool. It looks like a, a map or something. So that's new, and I've noticed it in particular on my side, kind of and abdomen and stuff, which is neat. Still don't have any stretch marks. Um, don't have any uh, of the line that sometimes women have the the linea negra. I think is what it's called. Um, and I don't have that. I asked my mom and she said she didn't get that. So I wonder if I, I won't get that. If, if many weeks ago when I had the hand pigmentation change, if that was my, the way it'll be for me. I'm just curious. Um, and then the big thing from this week has been trying to find underwear that fit my butt. It's not been fun. Um, I finally ran out of all of my old underwear and because I like cut those elastic in places to loosen it up and that was fine but then like once you watch those one time after doing that they kind of fall apart plus a lot of my underwears were already super old anyway and like the crotch was like actually falling out of them like they had just torn over time um I mean they're probably like 10 years old and stuff I know you're supposed to get underwear more often than that but like who who actually has the time to go get underwear that often not me <laughs> probably not a lot of people um so I was doing that for a while and there's some underwears that I have that still fit um, they're like the lineless underwears because they're just so stretchy and they're not too tight at the same time. Those still fit me and I imagine they'll continue to fit me. Um, and I talked to one of my friends and she said that she never got maternity underwear. She just went and got like the real stretchy, real tiny, usually lacy was better at being stretchy, she noticed. Um, underwear is just at like a regular store, just cheap underwear. Um, and I'm thinking I'm going to do that because I broke down and ordered uh, and I was excited about it. Um, a couple different styles of maternity underwear. One of the styles is the one that, you know, is very low and V-cut in the front. Another one is, like, really high over your belly button. And I was excited about both of them in different ways. The the really low V-cut ones, I was thinking, okay, that'll be low, that'll be below my stomach. But I didn't get to try any of these underwears on, obviously. It was online. 
I was trying to size myself based on what they said the sizing was. It was not accurate, um, unfortunately. Well, so I just need to try on a door somewhere. But I noticed with the V ones, because I just already have, I guess my hips are high and my, like, you know, crotch region begins low. So I already have really low underwear, just naturally. Like, that's what I tend to get. Um, and so these low underwears weren't any lower than my underwear. And so they still pushed on the lower part of my uterus. So I was like, man. So that was not helpful. Although the style theoretically would be if they were like super tiny. But the problem is if you get super tiny underwear like this way, tiny like this, like short like that, which is what I need for my body shape, they are short like this and I have wide hips. So it doesn't fit. Um, that's why I think I just need to get super stretchy underwear. And then the maternity underwears that I got that were high were just too tight and weird. They almost looked like, like Spanx. I was like, why are these tight? They should be like barely touching my skin. They should be like just sitting there. It was, it was weird. And I think they would have been tight even if they'd been a size up. It was just, they were not designed well. It was very strange. Um, so I think I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna return those and I'm gonna try to just find tiny underwears that fit because I'm used to wearing smaller underwears anyway and I mentioned before the high underwears like the high leggings I like them but sometimes I need to fold them down which is nice to have that option because I get itchy underneath the clothes and not not because I'm stretching my stomach it's because of the clothes um so the leggings being able to fold those down is nice but with underwear you're not really gonna be able to do that so that has been kind of frustrating this week, trying to get the maternity underwear figured out because I'm totally running out of normal underwear and I'm resorting to really strange old underwears that I have not worn in forever that are like not good underwears. They just barely fit and stuff. Um, so that's, that's what's happened this week. It's pretty much the same as before. I don't feel that different. It's just a couple things uh, are changing over time I've noticed, like the noticing the veins and things like that. Um, hopefully... I'll find out more about if this back cramp thing is a uh, Braxton Hicks. I'll be curious to find out. Um, and I really, goals for this week and upcoming weeks are to continue stretching and continue walking and continue doing like the prenatal yoga thing. And to really, we're getting busy so it's going to be hard, but to um, sit down with Jason and decide what books I really want him to read. He knows a lot of information already, but certain books I want him to read and I want to finish and I want to go over them together and certain things we need to talk about like uh, some more research we need to do because um, I think this time is going to go by really fast and we're not going to be able to catch up uh, at least with baby planning things we need to start now so that's how it's going at 23 weeks pregnant it's really cool to every day think I'm over halfway and every day I feel bigger um, and every day I feel more kicking and it's it's really exciting so Thanks again for watching as always, and I will see you next time for my 24 weeks pregnant update. All right, bye.